What's up my friends, Mike again, glad to have you guys back. So this is MSI's iconic gaming laptop, the GE66 Raider. It's made for gamers who prioritizes raw performance to play whichever game they want, wherever they want, and do it in style as well. MSI did send this laptop to me to test out and I've been using it as my main laptop for the past two months and I do a lot of gaming and work on it. And just being able to game wherever I want has truly been awesome because I just love the versatility of a laptop setup. All I need to bring is my mouse and I can just play in the living room or even outside of my porch. And when I want to, I can just dock it into my bigger setup for better ergonomics and a more immersive gaming experience. So the model that I have over here has the following specs. Inside has an 8-core i7-10878 processor with the top of the line NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, 32 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte of storage, and a 300 hertz full HD display. Considering its high-end configuration, the laptop is a lot thinner than I expected. It's pretty impressive that it's just 23 millimeters thick. The GE66 features a simple, sophisticated, futuristic design throughout the entire laptop. And the color that they chose to put on this laptop is called Titanium Blue, but I really think that it looks more like a Robocop Blue. And I think that the combination of the logo and the shape of the fans on the exterior really resembles the design of a supercar or spaceship. And of course, you can't miss the lighting strip that covers the entire front edge. It is fully customizable to any pattern or color, or you can even turn it off if you're not into that kind of thing. But I think it actually looks pretty good without overdoing it, so it will definitely improve the look of any space that you use the laptop in. And when I carry the laptop in my hand, it feels very premium and very durable because the chassis and lid is made of aluminum. The edge on the back of the laptop laptop and the bottom cover is made of plastic though, but it reduces the overall weight so it helps with portability. As for the hinge mechanism, it works great, it feels very strong and sturdy, and it's great so that I can just open it up with one hand. And on the inside, the 15.6 display delivers full HD resolution with an IPS panel, and it pretty much goes right to the edge, giving it a super slim bezel. And combined with a refresh rate up to 300Hz, this is gonna give you a super smooth, immersive gaming experience. But what's really interesting is that on the back of the laptop is where you'll find the DC input and all the other ports for hooking up your external displays, which you can connect up to three monitors. I think this design is great because when I dock it into my battle station, all the cables that I need to plug in are out of the way and out of sight for a cable-free look on the desk. And on the right side is where all the lower speed USB ports are located. I usually plug in my wireless mouse and keyboard in those ports. As for higher speed ports, they're on the left side. This is usually where I plug in my SSD storage drives. So I think the port design was very smart because all the stuff that I need to plug in will be out of the way so that I can freely move my mouse around when I'm just using the laptop by itself. And when it comes to audio, the speakers are located on the bottom of the laptop and they kind of show up downwards or through the side of the laptop. I would have really liked to see the speakers beside the keyboard so that I can shoot upwards instead because with this configuration, I still found the sound to be a bit muffled. However, they do have their own onboard audio software called Nahemic to enhance the sound quality. I did find that it made a difference when it was turned on. The speakers are loud enough to hear over the cooling fans. For a more immersive experience, I totally use headphones or speakers instead. On the other hand, what I totally love is the keyboard. The font used here looks great along with the RGB backlighting, which can be customized in the software to match the light strip. There are just so many combinations you can make and choose from. They have a ton of presets, but I love the default lighting theme that MSI has designed. Typing on it also feels great. The key presses land with a satisfying thud sound, and there's no flex anywhere on the keyboard deck. I like how quiet it is so it won't disturb other people, and this is what it sounds and looks like. As for the trackpad, I like how it's a single piece design, it simply gets the job done when you need to use it, but I usually leave it disabled because I'm always using a mouse. The webcam delivers 1080p resolution, which I think is a bit above average for most laptops. It also has a kill switch in the software, so that's a nice touch. So this is what this webcam sounds and looks like. Testing 1, 2, 3, how does it sound? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I'm gonna build a battle station around a gaming laptop in the future, so if you wanna see my battle station tour video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And when we take a look at what's actually inside the laptop, there's a backplate that you can remove, which allows you to upgrade your RAM and storage if you wanna save 
save some money and do it yourself. It also has great thermals and ventilation with the dual fans, which I think are quite large with wider heat pipes to cool everything down. On the bottom is where you find the large 99.99 watt hour battery. It is designed to be removable so you can replace it if something happens to the battery in the future. I think this is great so that you don't have to get a whole new laptop instead. They also have software that optimizes the charging states to prolong the battery life as well. Now, the gaming performance of this is what I'm really, really amazed with. I tested a variety of games and with Cyberpunk on Ray Tracing Ultra Mode, I was able to get smooth gameplay with an average of 57 to 67 frames per second and the temperature hovered around 82 degrees with the fans on max. The fan noise is noticeable at around 55 decibels. It doesn't really distract me when I'm gaming, but if someone is beside me, they'll always be like, wow, is that the fan? That's kind of loud. Also, I think it's important to note that the keyboard does get warm even with the fans on. So combined with my sweaty hands, there's always sweat on the keyboard. So I have to wipe it off every time I use the laptop to keep it clean. So because of this, I do prefer to dock it into my battle station and use a wireless keyboard to game. And man, gaming on an ultra wide monitor is just super immersive and mind blowing. The i7 processor and the RTX 3080 handled everything I threw at it with no problems at all. And by the way, playing with a high-end laptop is definitely nice. The gaming performance is gonna be great and you don't have to worry about lag. But what I really think it does is that it keeps you honest. Because if you've ever blamed your computer for losing in your games, you can't blame a laptop like this. So if you're bad, you're quickly gonna realize that it's just you. Playing on a nice laptop won't make you a better player, it will just reveal your true skill level. And while I was testing out more games, I did find that the 300Hz display is overkill for what I do. None of the games that I've played needed that refresh rate to look smooth. So unless you're a super competitive FPS gamer who needs that kind of advantage, I think that having a higher resolution display with at least 144Hz would be a better choice to future-proof your laptop. As for battery life, I do find that I've only been getting at most 2 hours of gaming time without plugging it in, and while doing basic productive work on lower settings, I can get around 4 and a half hours. So I would say that the battery life is not going to last you the whole day, and if you do intend to use it all day, you're going to have to bring along with you this charger. I really think that this is a very unappealing design, it's not something I want to carry with me or use. I would have really appreciated them designing a better charger with better cables that won't tangle up because it just feels like they put a ton of work designing a beautiful laptop here and just kind of ignored this piece. So if there are any MSI designers or engineers watching this video right now, I would totally like to see this improved and revamped in the future. But besides that, I think the GE66 Raider is one of the best looking and best performing laptops on the market right now. My experience with the laptop has been phenomenal. The build quality has been nothing short of premium and it is relatively portable given its super high end configuration. But just know that you're gonna have to most likely carry your charger with you at all times when using your laptop. And if you're still watching right now, thank you so much for watching till the end. Make sure you drop a fire emoji in the comments below to let me know that you watched till this point. And guys, if you liked laptop reviews like this, please let me know as well. Or if you want to see me do more or what I could have improved on. Because right now, I'm getting more into the gaming scene and reviewing something like this was really fun for me. So make sure you let me know in the comments below what you want to see. And guys, if you haven't already yet, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell to get the latest updates about my channel from YouTube. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye! Oh! Ah. I hate this game.